was really into the monsters. I mean, and this is his monster, his creation. Yeah, it must have really killed him back in the day. I remember going through some uh, 1970s comic books when, you know, they had to put uh, wrestling trunks on all the monsters. Yep. You, know, you couldn't have a naked wolf man. You couldn't have a naked space alien that walked on two legs. Everything had to wear wrestling trunks. So Carnage is probably his... His revenge. payback. His revenge. This is what you get for making me censor all this stuff. I'm going to give you this character that's going to give you nightmares. Clown Q is not worth talking about. Stephen King's It, the book, is worth talking about. Good book. Comic book? No. Especially when they put it using the movie as the comic book. The movie, It, was good when I was 13 years old. Afterwards, when I learned this thing called ratings and I read that book and thought how much worse that could have been and seeing the television version of it, it is now on one of my least favorite movies. And people are sitting back there going, oh, I can't believe you said that. That's well, one of I the best one. movies. No, no, it's not. It's I not. Mean, just look at the fake looking animated spider at the end. Yeah. I mean, if you come up to me and this is a common thing at the cons and you say you are afraid of clowns because of Stephen King's It. I immediately stop conversation and turn away from you. And if you continue to encounter me about this, I tell you straightforward, you are afraid of a clown that his other role was playing a drag queen. Now, like you said, though, emphasize that you're talking about the made for TV movie. Yes. Now, if you read, now if somebody was to read the book, it, and say, okay, that clown scared the heck out of me, that's a different story. I could see that. The movie, no. And half these people that come up and say this to me don't read books. So I, I definitely know they're going for the movie route. One of the most popular movies and popular evil clowns out there besides myself, Attack of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And we don't have a big enough show to say how much awesomeness this movie was and how cheesy it was. And how ahead of its time and how the guy that put it out never thought that he would have had such a cult or fan following of this movie. There are people who are demanding a second and please do not put the second one out. Some movies do not need a sequel. That is one of them. It is perfect the way it is. And the man that decides to remake that, you are on public enemy number one's list for Chuckles the Clown. And you better move and have the Korean there, the little short one, as your projecting guy. Because I'm... I'm coming for you if you remake that movie. There is nothing f more funny than that, that flick. It is cheesy. It is awesome. And I thought I was being original when I spelt clown with a K, and boy, was I wrong. Read the credits. Clowns are spelt with K. You didn't know that? Nope. Not until I read the credits, because I fall victim to some of the people out there listening to this. Sometimes I do not read. <laughs> It's shocking. I do like comic books, but sometimes I go through the, I'm looking at the pictures of this comic book. And you ask me the story, and I say, I don't know. But the pictures were good. But I do read. Just there's that occasion I don't. And I fall victim to that. But Attack of the Killer Clowns, awesome. It, one of my favorite songs is off that. Uh, the Dickies puts it out. And I didn't put it on here because I overplay that. If you guys don't know, I used to have the okay to play that. Now I have to rework some copyright stuff and get permission again. If you haven't seen that movie, do. Uh, I I definitely encourage you to see that. What do you What are your thoughts about that? I mean, well, not it's not so much that you know you pretty much said all there was to say about the movie. But as far as you know, I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to rise to the occasion and think of other clowns, other. You know, killer clowns, evil clowns that are worthy. Not too many chuckles. No. I mean, there, there really isn't. I mean, I'm going back a few decades in my knowledge of the horror genre, and it's there not, is not, not really one. And I can't. And this is how this is how bad it was. I cannot remember it. Um, it was an African American gentleman playing the clown, and it was a killer clown, Killjoy. Okay. Uh, the first one was okay. The second one, not so much. They should have stopped. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty of movies, you know there's, plenty, you know, there's plenty of B movies featuring clowns, but none of them, there's, there's got to be something special about it in there. Usually and Gacy, isn't. Gacy wasn't originally an evil clown. I, I mean, he portrayed a happy clown, Pogo. 
He just had evil intentions. So he hid the evil side to him. Yeah, I mean, if you want to stretch the definition a little bit and say maybe Leatherface from Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, you know what I'm saying? In other words, he, play, he, he was a clown and everything but the colored makeup. Right. You know, an evil, capering figure. But, but, but uh, you, know, you know, clown in the sense of the word that we're talking about it, no. No, Bozo, that's an evil clown. That, that son you, of a gun is a corporate evil clown right down to the – was smart enough to have a bozo in almost every state. Now, money is evil, and that man had plenty of it. So you know he's playing the happy clown, but that son of a gun was evil. I'll tell you, there's, you know, most people would tell us that there is not much of a line between evil and happy clowns. I no. mean, you know, Ronald McDonald is – you know, I'm sure gave a few kids nightmares when he was sitting there at the McDonald's and – yeah, he's definitely evil. You're giving kids mealworm burgers that to be addicted to so that later on your cholesterol levels are so high up um, that you're probably going to die at the age of 32. He's an evil clown. I did have the fortune, I should say misfortune, of sharing a locker room with this gentleman, and I should have waited for this uh, to the next show. But, yes, I did share a locker room with Doink the Clown. And you want to talk about evil and disgusting? I felt no love loss when that man passed away. I mean, a lot of people are saying back there and saying, you're heartless. You're right. I am. But that guy makes me seem like a saint. Now, let's make sure that we pick on the right doink, the clown. Um, this, the, the first one. The original. The, the original. And we'll get to that in probably another show. But I want to get, wrap things up here on Chuckles Crypt with this song. And I want to play it in its full because last time we were only able to play half of it, but we were going to give you the whole thing. Chuckles Crip, Rhode Island Free Radio, Miles Kennedy, Slash, and, and with Slash, we give you Anastasia. <laughs> 